This is the Wales Project and who runs it? Yeah, so it's myself with uh, curator Sonia, then we've got uh, some people who help us with outreach, um, Vicky and Kareem. And yeah, and then the housemates as well who occasionally help out. So it's a sort of loose bunch of people all, do, all hopefully working together. We are in Battersea, where we're sort of Wandsworth Road, so we're on the sort of border between Clapham Town and uh, Clapham Junction and Battersea Power Station. So uh, it started in 2018 when I was working for an artist and her studio mates were looking for a space to do a show. So we uh, suggested we try something here. It just used to be we had two rooms that were full of junk and bikes and stuff. So we cleared them out and, and had to go with no real idea of what an artist's space was or or what was going to happen. And uh, and it worked, went really well. So they did two shows and um, and the people who came to those shows got excited about the space and asked us to use them. So it just sort of went like that. We we thought we were very unique in the fact that we were saying, oh yeah, you, um, we haven't got much uh, security, we don't know how long we're going to be here. And then you go to spaces that you've heard about that are, you see as like really sort of solid spaces and they're under exactly the same conditions, you know, they don't know what's going to happen next month, they don't know how long they've got the spaces. So, I mean, I do, whenever we talk to artists, I say, you know, like, just bear in mind that this could be gone, you know, we could get a letter tomorrow that says you have to get out. And it doesn't seem to perturb anyone, like, that's the sort of, that seems to be the way that everything works now with if you're if you're an artist starting out you know we like I said like our we started with the space before any sort of idea like we really learnt as we went along um, it just sounded like a cool thing to do to do an art show in the space and then I heard, but I didn't even know there was such a term as artist as space and then someone said oh yeah you know this other space you, could, you should go and see them so we did and, and I just started sort of going and talking to as many people as possible I did social and cultural studies and then I did culture industry both of which were like fascinating but vocationally slightly useless it's one of the very few, I think, disciplines where you begin to look at everything as a, as a wide system. And that's, I think, why I'm so interested in learning sort of how this network works, rather than just your own thing. And, I, and that's why I, I'm always trying to encourage people to stay in touch. And I really want people to look at it as like, we're all trying to get to the same place together. We're not, there's no, I think competition is a really, is a really destructive element in the, at this level because we talk quite a lot with artists about like losing momentum right because we did quite a lot of recent graduate shows where people had built up so much momentum through art school and then it just stopped and like what we really liked was when people picked that up again by doing a show here and then it was you know like they felt that they were getting somewhere again like the, art, the amount of artists we talk to are like, it feels like I'm not getting anywhere anymore. And then you're like, well, come and do a show. Like, there's no, there's no, you don't have to pay for it. There's no risk. You know, if it's a disaster, it doesn't even really matter. And that's, I think, what our set spaces are so great at doing is like encouraging, but also the double-edged sword is that momentum can then get away, get like start sort of, and you were talking about how busy everyone is in London. You know, before you know it, you've got to, so many things on and you've forgotten why you're doing all this. You're just sort of like, rushing and, and I think that's the problem with I think London is a pet especially bad for that is you you either feel like you're going at total out of control breakneck speed or you're not doing anything